Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This video is entitled How to Make a Simple Mashup Using GarageBand. Now, there may be some electronic musicians who would say this is not a mashup. <laughs> First of all, um, but uh, basically what I'm going to uh, cover in this um, in this video uh, with GarageBand is how to uh, import audio, how to cut and split and edit and copy and paste and and uh, work with automation, which is volume level fades in and out. Um, and add vocal tracks and create a, a mashup, uh, a kind of a mashup that's, that's using uh, two uh, sound recordings and a series of vocal recordings um, uh, to put the whole thing together. So here I am in GarageBand. I'm going to uh, start a new project, um, a voice project here. Okay, I've got my volume down. Okay, so the first thing you need to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Show Media Browser, which I can do View Show Media Browser or uh, or just type an F um, as a shortcut. Here's the Media Browser. I'm going to put my um, talking head over here where I don't use it as much, um, honestly. Uh, <laughs> because that bottom right part of the screen is, is, uh, is important. Okay. So, um, I'm looking for a song called bullfight in April. So I go to the media browser and I find bullfight in April. And one thing I can do is I can find it here in the media browser, click and drag it in here. And you can see that that's going to work. Okay. And give me a second track. The other thing you can do is you can find bullfight in April. Um, in uh, iTunes here, which is way up top. There it is, Bullfight in April. And you can right click and go show in uh, show in Finder. And then you can just click that and drag that in there. You can do it really either way. So there it is. Here I am in GarageBand. Now I'm, I'm sort of keeping my eye on... Um, I'm having an office hour right now. So this little participants one, that means I'm the only one here. <laughs> but if anybody shows up, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm going to have to interrupt this video and uh, come back to it. But anyway, uh, there's Bullfight in April. I'm going to put my cursor on there so there's no feedback. And now we can hear it. Good night, Dave. Dave. This is the, this is the uh, count in and the metronome. I'm going to turn those off because I don't want them. <laughs> All right, all right. So I've got uh, I've got bullfight in April in there. Now, um, one thing that can be done here. Now, how do you do it exactly? Um, let's see. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so uh, next song I want to work with is a song from Mendels, uh, Mendelssohn's Elijah. I'm going to see if Elijah, that doesn't come up, nothing comes up there, um, is not his word like a fire from Mendelssohn's Elijah. iTunes Music is not, uh, huh, I've got iTunes Music Audio. Um, is not, is Elijah. I can't find it in here, so I'm going to use my other method <laughs> like I just showed you. Um, I don't know why that wasn't coming in, but anyway, here we go. I'm going to click and drag it down. And one thing you notice right off the bat as I get rid of this, and I check on my participants once again, um, is you notice that the sound wave is much, much fuller in the bullfight in April than it is in Elijah. This right here is the zoom, out, zoom in and out. 
which uh, which is going to be handy here. So, okay. So one of the things you want to do is you before you go in and start doing fade ins and fade outs and everything like that is you want to try to volume balance the basic volume balance of the two pieces of all the pieces you're doing, and I think about. Um, blast the bullfight in April all the way here with the volume. Because once you start doing the fade in and out, you can't any longer, uh, you can't mess with the, the master uh, volume up and down, which is over here, which I'm doing now. So right now I'm just seeing, does that basically where I want it? <laughs> I think it's, oh, uh, no wonder I, I was, <laughs> okay. I want to blast is not his worth like a fire and bring that down here. So let's try That's what I wanted. I wanted about halfway down there and I'm going to put the volume back up to zero where it was for the voice. Okay. So now I've set the basic volume of, of what I want. And, and uh, now we're going to start doing some fade outs. Now a is for automation, I believe, um, mix show automation or just a, and you see that line there, uh, that line there um, in the middle, if you click the playhead where you want it, it'll go to that particular position. Now I'm going to zoom way in. And if you click on that line and make a little node, and then you click again um, and make another node, you can do a fade out. And uh, I think we want to do a fade in here. And that's going to involve making a couple of nodes. Okay. Let's see what that does. Here we go. Okay. I think I want my fade out to go to stretch out so that it's still kind of going. That's right. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, so what I just did there is I set the basic volume and then I did a fade out of one and a fade in of the other. So my first the first part of my song is is the first part of Bullfight in April. The beginning of Is Not His Word Like a Fire from Mendelssohn's Elijah by Bryn Turfel is going to come in right when this starts fading out. The other thing I want to do is I want to split uh and and copy and paste a little bit so i want to go zoom way in to where this whole thing starts and i want to um i want to try to split it playhead now you can go right click split it playhead or you can go edit split regions at playhead command t is the other thing you can do okay so i just split so there's uh so there's one region here and one region here. Okay, now I'm gonna split again. And uh okay, and then I'm gonna split when I've when I've gone all the way, when I've faded all the way out, and that's all that's all the bullfight in April I'm using in this. Okay. And this I'm going to reuse, uh, and I'm going to reuse it later. So. His word is like a fire and like, here it comes. Right there. I'm going to paste this little part right there. Boom. Um, I'm going to split Elijah. I'm going to get rid of the rest of Elijah. That's all I'm using of the Elijah. And, uh, and now, um, 
I think I want to uh, fade out here. Oh, I, I did. I never put the volume back up. And I put it up to about right there, right? Okay. So. <laughs> And I want that a little louder to be to be obnoxious. Okay, now I have now made uh, <laughs> I have now made my basic instrumental track. Now I'm going to go turn this down, put the headphones on because I'm going to turn on my microphone and record a vocal track. Rock like a hand. Okay, that I was playing. I wasn't recording. Okay, so now I'm I'm on here. I'm on the vocal track. And I'm going to record my sister. Rock! Rock! Like a hammer that breaketh the rock, that breaketh the rock into, in, in, into uh, pieces. Anyway. Okay, so now I'm going to undo the automation. I'm going to grab all this material, copy, which is Command C. I'm going to wait a second or two. I'm going to start the whole thing over. Boom, right there. Okay, so and now I'm going to take the uh, voice track. I'm going to rename it Voice. I'm going to uh, track, duplicate track. So now I have a voice track and a voice to track. Um, and I'm going to start just start recording the second voice track. Did you get that on tape? Duct tape. Okay, so um, so now I, all I haven't done yet on the final uh, duct tape is fill in this whole, this second uh, vocal track, and maybe there's a third overlapping there. Um, but that is how I created duct tape uh, using the bullfright in April, is not his word like a fire, and, um, and, uh, and voice tracks. Let's just listen to uh, the parts together here when, when what we haven't done. Here we go. I don't want, I'm going to get the feedback. There we go. I think I want to blast that because it's supposed to be really, it's supposed to be really obnoxious. <laughs> like a hammer that breaketh the rock, that breaketh the rock into, in, in, into uh, pieces. Anyway, second voice track. Get that on tape. Duct tape. Get that on tape. Duct tape. Okay, 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 okay. So, uh, so ladies and gentlemen, um, this is how I created duct tape. This is how you uh, you start a garage band piece. You pull in songs from iTunes. You add, you cut and paste and copy uh, and paste and fade in, fade out. Use automation. Uh, use the full automation first, um, and uh, and that is how that is how uh, duct tape was created. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Uh, good luck on your mashup. If you're having trouble, send me an email, wderby at mamkschools.org. <laughs> Ready, go.